Yummy. Look what we've got. Cock soup. Let's go make this yummy sounding thing. Welcome to a very special episode of Pre-Game Yums. We've got Island Pride cock soup. Spicy chicken flavour. What? Since when does cock taste like spicy chicken? Well, I guess, just like they say, tastes like chicken. Everything tastes like chicken. Doesn't sound like cock. Oh. That kind of cock. Way to get my hopes and dreams up, stupid bloody. Anyway, let's do this. Welcome to the Kitchen of Yum. We've got new floor. It's not stone, despite its look. Listen. Stone doesn't sound like that. And it would hurt a lot if you hit stone that hard. So, hi. i got to do this quickly, because I've got to go out for a bike ride. So, hurry. So, what are we going to do? Oh, three to four servings. Never mind. Let's make this cock soup. Yummy. Directions, empty contents, oh, wait, I'll read this and then I'll show you how to do it. I think this is quite easy. Don't you? Right. So, let's fill the kettle up. Oh, wait, I'll fill the kettle up. About the amount you put in a mug should help, I suppose, should do. Let's find out. Can't read this damn thing. Is that 500 milliliters? Seriously? That much? I don't think so somehow, but I suppose we'll have to measure it when the kettle is boiled. Hurry up. Meanwhile, let's open the cock soup. Balance you on the poster. How do you open such a thing? I'll tell you how. Like... <laughs> I killed the plant. Sorry. Okay. Why you... Why you do this? What have I done? Anyway... Oh. Any more? Go away. What the fuck? It's like it's alive. Jimbo. Wait, right, where were we? Let's fill it up, 500 millilitres. That really seems like a bit too much to me, but... I guess, whatever. Apparently it's supposed to serve three or four, but... It looks like... You know what? I don't know. Let's use a little bit over a hundred milliliters. Yeah, that sounds about right. Keep it there though. Now, what you want to do is make sure this thing's open. And I guess empty some of it. Oh, this actually smells really nice. I guess... Why did it stop recording? Now, get a fork, probably. I've never made this before. This is looking quite crap, actually. It looks like coloured water. Oh, do you know something? Don't fall in. Do you know something? 
Just put it all in. Hurry. Ah, look at all that flavour. And that is all of it. Wait. Guess what I did? I put some extra water in. Now, if this is to serve three or four people, that's the end. If this is to serve three or four people, my name is Harry Larry Pumpkinhead. It even looks mouldy. What is this shit? Why am I using a fork? Why has it got weird black bits floating in it? All of this and more will be answered by the end of this video. The only bit I'm looking forward to is the noodly bits. Oh, apparently you've got to boil it for seven to ten minutes. What the? Well, hard I haven't got time like that. So do you know how we speed this up? Neither do I. I'm running out of time. We're just mixing it today, creating a whirlpool. That's one way to do it. Yeah. Three to four servings. I didn't even use all the water, I used like half of it. This is 250 milliliters here. We're on the brink of destruction. Yeah, I've got to boil it until the noodles go soggy. But other than that, it tastes pretty damn nice, don't you reckon? And I've got to say, the water is quite spicy. So if you make some cock soup, I mean cockerel soup, then adjust the amount of water you put in to suit your spicy needs. Less water, more spicy. Because the less water there is, the less spread around the spice can go. I'm looking forward to this actually once the noodles get a bit soggy so they're not crunchy so they get all soft and squishy like pink cock. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I almost said penis. That ruined the whole joke. Leg scratch. See? It's not arse scratch because there's the arse back there. That is an arse scratch. That is a leg scratch. That is... Nearly finished. Ah, look, the water is changing into a nice, spicy-looking colour. Who's that out there? I don't know. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Should we try it? No, it hasn't been seven to ten minutes. Sorry. It's alright. Don't panic. Look at the spice. Should we try it? What is that? Must be bits of cock. It's obviously bits of chicken. That's in cockerel. What a spoon I am. Yeah. Maybe I won't go for a bike ride today. <laughs> I did. I put some more water in. Stop it. That wasn't even the same as the last time. Can you hear that crunch? I tried some more noodles. They're crunchy. I mean, come on, it's been seven to ten minutes, hasn't it? Dunno. I hope this turns out right. Now, competition time. You fans you loyal fans and fanettes of um, pre-game yums make your own pre-game yums videos it's not a competition actually, it's just join the fun! show me your cooking things and coming up in e episodes we've got possibly strawberry milkshake Nesquik of course, the best probably cheese on toast how to do it the lazy way and lots of other things, hopefully. Um, I go up the shop occasionally. I'm going to get some uh, varied stuff, and we can try different things. So I want you people, if you if you're able to, and if you want to, if you can actually be bothered, you know, don't do it just because I said. 
If you want to, if you want to join the fun, make some pre-game yums episodes. And the winner will get nothing. No, just do what you want. I hope this is nearly done. We haven't quite got time for this. I think I'm going to have to say screw it to the bike ride today. I'll at least go for a short one, yeah. I just want some pre-bike ride yums. Come on. Are you yummy yet? Are you yummy yet? Get in there. Whatever. Ah, I think we all know damn well this is going to go into two parts.